I think we're we're on. Oh my <laughs> goodness, so, this is exciting. So hard I'm tell. not sure. <laughs> it's so confusing. Systems and delays and lag and all that good stuff. Right. I know. So I know anybody who's watching right now, YouTube has a bit of a delay. We kind of have to wait because of the whole ad situation. But I believe on Twitch, we are officially live. So if anyone's on Twitch, they can say, hey, I'm on Twitch and we can see you <laughs> and hear you. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us live here on Aptastic. I'm Suzanne Sheldon. I'm Mandy Hutchinson. And a lot of you may know us from our partnership on the Dice Tower podcast, where we co-host along with Eric Summer and Tom Vassell, or any other kind of shenanigans that we're up to once in a while. But Mandy and I don't actually get to play games a lot together because Mandy lives in Canada. <laughs> and I live in Seattle, the Seattle area. And we thought, what a great way that Mandy and I can get to play games together and share some of the wonderful board game apps or digital board games that are available nowadays with a little show. More importantly, we get to chat with you. And that is always some of the most fun that we ever have with the Dice Tower is getting to talk to Dice Tower listeners and viewers. And in our live Q&As, we always have the most fun in our chats. And so hopefully we'll have the same fun here. Yeah, this is good. Um, I'm looking at the chat. There's so much happening. There's so many people. Uh, I'm hearing there's a little bit of a lag on YouTube. Anybody on Twitch, let me know. This is all new, and I have a lot of windows open. So my computer's like, oh, angry at me right now. So if I'm a little behind on some audio, I'm trying my best to make it work. But my computer might be off because I'm the one uh, pushing out all the stuff. <laughs> yeah, Mandy has, I cannot tell you how much work Mandy has been putting into the show to get all the digital pieces up and running. And so big kudos and thank you to uh, Mandy for yes. all of that hard work. That is a doggy toy on the bag. I forgot to take it off. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Mandy, that's okay. Dogs happen. That's We all love dogs, right? Um. So today, everybody, we are going to be playing Mystic Veil. Now, for those of you, woo -hoo, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Mystic Veil, vale, this is a deck building game designed by John D. Clare and published through Alderac Entertainment Group in the analog version. And then Nomad Games produces the fabulous digital app version that's available on iOS, Android, and on Steam. Mandy and I are going to be playing against each other via Steam for streaming purposes. Now, I said deck building, but really... One of the coolest things about Mystic Veil vale is that it has what they call the card crafting system. And so not only are you building a deck, you're actually building out cards and adding different elements to individual cards that as you play through, cards themselves can get stronger and stronger. And I think it's a fabulous system and a ton of fun. And I'll tell you what, in digital form, it is so smooth. It's awesome. Now, something you may also have noticed if you came here through our social media channels is Nomad Games was kind enough to provide some codes for iOS and Android for us to give away. So later on in the show, we're going to have a code word, a super secret code word. And all you have to do to enter to win one of these codes is email saltandsassgames at gmail.com with the code word in the subject line, and then winners will be picked at random. And hopefully that's something that we're going to get be able to do a lot is give away a lot of app codes so that people can play more and more digital board games. Mm -hmm. All right, Mandy. Oh, Are you ready? Oh, no. Okay. So let's just be, let's start off with saying I will probably get crushed, but that's okay. I will enjoy myself anyways. I am terrible at this game. It's about the journey. But maybe I can pull a win. <laughs> you got it. So Mandy is up first. And what you're going to be doing, right, is, first of all, you have to see what you have because you can go bust. There's a little bit of push your luck element. So right now, um, Mandy, you get to make the choice about, like, are you going to push your luck and see if you're going to get another one of those cursed tree icons? Or are you going to spend the little blue money that you have already? All right. So just to reiterate, I apologize. Sa salt and sass games at Gmail. So there is an S on that. Yep. Right. Yeah. Yep, My apologies. Yep. So we want to make sure people can enter to get these awesome codes. Okay. Sorry. I interrupted. Go ahead. You're, you're just delaying. You're just, you're stalling, Mandy. Get with it. No, Come on, girl. My, my eyes behind the scene. I'm like, okay, doing the things. Okay. Oh, YouTube is refreshing as well. Okay. We're about. Were we we're down? Back. Yeah. I think we were down for a minute. We're back. 
Oh, drama, technology I know. First, drama. First episode, we're going to have some things, but this is great. Yeah. That things happen. Yeah, so people buffing. It's, yeah, it's something on my end for some reason. It's being difficult. We tested this out, didn't have a problem tonight for some reason. It's giving us issues. So let us know. Again, these are things we'll try to fix for next time. All right. So did you make your move? Oh, yeah, I got to make my move. Yeah. Yeah, okay. you got to make your move. So you got to decide if that's the money you're going to take, right? And then if it is, you press the blue button. At the bottom to say, yeah, I'm going to spend that money. Or you can push your luck and press the yellow button you know, and see what card you flipped. And if you go bust on those trees, your turn is over. I think I see press three the of those. Button. No. Press I'm going to keep my, my, my two monies that I have there. Oh, but Fertile Soils is such a weak play. Come on. Don't you look at that hawk. You know you want it. Not doing it. Not doing it. All right. So I, know. I have two monies to spend. Or two. What do they call it? Is it mana? I always use the incorrect terminology. I, so. so I apologize in advance to everybody involved in producing this wonderful game. I am terrible with thematic terminology. I have no idea what it's called. Somebody in the chat, let us know. What's the blue money? What's the blue currency known as? And then we can try to use the correct terminology. Okay, so I thought it was mana. We're going to go with that. I like mana. Sticking to it. So right now I have two mana that I can spend. And right now I want to look for ones that are going to fit in the cards. I don't want to waste my empty cards with this, but it might be good. Okay, I'm not one for messing around. So I'm going to take this one right here, Fertile Soil, which yep. is only it's going to take all my monies, but it's going to give me or one mana later on when I decide to use it. And these are cool, the cards. If you actually hold the cursor on the card, the card moves. So, I, I think those little ambient animations are so, that's a great it's detail, really, cool. really nice touch. So I hope everybody online can see these, but it's pretty fantastic. So I'm going to take that and I'm actually going to toss it in this card right here. So now nice. I've finished the things. I have no more mana to spend. So I have finished with that phase and that's it. Yeah. Awesome. All right. I, mm, I've got four money. Is that Hawk is sitting there, but it has one of those cursed icons. I'm really averse to them because I tend to get oh, into trouble. Do it again. Come on. But um, the Deadwood Harvester. All right. All right. All right. Oh. The Deadwood Harvest, you make Okay, I'm going to say, I'm going to actually get my discard going. I'm going to try to build some strength. So I'm going to take the money I have because I got four. I'm rich. I'm wealthy. Oh, wait a minute, though. What? Mm -mm -mm -hmm. Actually, I'm going to take this Peacekeeper Druid with that beautiful green icon. Yes. Because I'm looking at these other cards up above as well. And then I'm going to take a Fertile Soil. Mm-hmm. And get that mana tree going. So let's do that. Mana making. Mana making. Nice. All right. My turn is done. All right. So now, me, let's see what's happening here. So again, I'm stuck with two. I'm really tempted to push, but I'm afraid. I'm very afraid that I will bust and lose my cards. But <laughs> then I do still get, I think it's two mana that I can spend on the following turn. What? No, there's no carryover. No, I think when you bust, I swear it gives you two that you can spend on your next turn. Okay. I might be hallucinating that, but we're going to find well, out. You might I'm be. Gonna, like, we're going to find it. out. I'll tell you what. So no, Robert Perdon says. It's <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Oh, there it is. You get a uh, token. I love it. It does not. I'm sorry. I thought it did. But I do get a token that you can use later. That's what I mean. Yes. I there you I got go. something. So. Now. Robert Purdon in YouTube says that they bought, they almost bought the fancy geek up bits from Board Game Geek dot com anyway and those bits are so amazing they're <sighs> fabulous i don't blame you at all oh, I to die for game spoiled all right you gotta press the red button you have to press the I red i'm done button you were done i'm done being to spoiled let everybody know that i spoiled wow that sounds so inappropriate <laughs> well i mean truth hurts sure oh. <laughs> okay i'm gonna grab those podlings they're adorable no i can't oh i gotta put it on a sticky card ah poop all right, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I don't care. Okay. I don't right. care. I'm tough. I can handle it. I'm going to waste that mana. Oh, this is so crazy. Okay, so it's me. Okay. So Charity Board Gamer is asking if I will do a flippy. Yes, I am doing my Rodney Rodney Smith cosplay. For those of you, I mean, everybody who's watching this knows who Rodney Smith is, of course. Sure, the wonderful um, purveyor of Watch It Played. Um, and I totally had to wear my Rodney Smith plaid. Right. I know that this plaid is not officially called Rodney Smith plaid, but I think right. in the gaming world, can we make this a thing? This is officially Rodney Smith plaid, okay? So I have five that I can spend. I'm, I'm feeling kind of rich. We are not pushing our luck. Push the blue button. Push the blue button. Now I've got so much 
to choose from. What's this hulking thorn hide? Ooh, that looks good. Grab I, it. But I noticed it also has. See, I don't like the the tree, but you know. It's, yeah, but you get the you get it. The it symbol. has um the the three blue cube points and right. one white point. That's really good because yeah. like there's two different points that you kind of collect, and you can see that in the bottom right of the screen, right where next to Mandy's red symbol and my blue symbol, you can see our little cube things, and those are basically the points and the the blue points or cubes are essentially a limited pool and that's partly how the game is timed you can have a short medium or long game depending on your pool of uh uh blue points again my apologies to everybody <laughs> who made this game i'm so bad with theme i'm so bad okay um i'm, I'm gonna take it I, I feel like you know what this is probably as good as it's gonna get do I'm it, put it you on got a, it I'm i had like, to yeah i'm looking at the chat so i'm like they're saying do it i'm gonna do that give her and, and seriously and my turn Help Mandy. Give her confidence. Oh, wow. Her. You know, give her the love. She deserves it. I can't wait till we get an app that I'm really good at. Oh, it's on. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm so nervous about that. I'm really worried about that happening. This is going to be a weak sauce turn for me. I am. Weak sauce? That's a new one. <laughs> I am I am weak sauce in it. I'm just going to grab that fertile soil. Uh -huh. I'm building up. Building strength. I'm not afraid of you, Mandy. All right. Well, okay. I'm a, I am a little, a little afraid of yeah, you. Yeah. Right. Okay. So I have four. Okay. I'm on a good trajectory here. I am not pushing my luck. I don't think so. Push the blue button, and now lots of fertile soil happening here. Ooh, I do like this Wolf Moon card. This is like calling my name right here. What? I like the Wolf Moon a lot. So and we good. are just playing the basic set of Mystic Veil already. Nomad Games has released a number of expansions for our inaugural, inaugural, oh, no, inaugural. I can't really say that word right now. Too. For our first show, um, no. we decided just to keep it simple and basic because we're kind of juggling a lot of things. The Wolf Moon's a great card. Oh, but see, it's really... Hey, we game together. Thanks for joining. Hold on. I'm thinking here. I'm deciding. Hold on. Okay. No, I've changed my mind. I'm going to do that. All right. Okay. Woo, there's just too much happening. I get a little nervous. All right. The animations really are gorgeous. It's fantastic. I love it. Oh, see, somebody else loved the Wolf Moon. It's the best card ever. It is a good thing. But Charity Board Gamer was asking if I'm going to have a box flipping contest and never, I would never dare to compete. Okay, I know you can only see Mandy's side. My hand is is not, let's just say my hand is not strong. I'm going to push my luck. It's not even worth it. I've got, woo, okay, I got three now. I had, two. I'm up to three. I'm rolling in it now. Because um, I did push my luck there. Right. Dare I do it again? Do it. Do no, it. I'm gonna, no, 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 no. There's like a Deadwood Harvester out there. I think I'm just going to grab my Deadwood Harvester. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll grab that little one. And I have to put it on these. Ugh, terrible turn. Yeah, terrible turn. Bad. So at least, I mean, we're not getting it, but we can see what you're choosing. So unfortunately, you yes. all are getting my hand, which I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. But here we are. Oh, wow. That is just ratchet. Oh, my goodness. I have one. Yeah, that's you. Ooh, okay. Push your luck. Oh, I just did. Push the yellow oh, button. Oh, oh, Push it. Oh, yellow I, button. I did. Yellow button. I'm done. <laughs> I will say that if you've played, when you have the, the, the little uh, bar on the far right where you have the circle with the two arrows pointing at it. Now, that's how you switch between views. The bar. Uh, where you can see the bottom row and the top row. Oh, yeah, that's right. Like these ones here. The, yeah. And then recenter. Yeah. And so that if you want to see one of the cards closer or if you, uh, because a lot of us have vision issues where if the text is too small in an app, it's harder to see. So Na Nomad put in this little toggle that allows you to kind of zone in on cards that you may need. All right. So I'm starting to get to my stronger cards and I have, you can't see my hand, but I have a bunch of totally blank cards and I have three blue currencies did we ever get the three blue currency money what, what is it called did we ever find that out no i have a feeling it's i have a feeling it's mana i'm convinced okay okay so but you know what i got this podling out mandy how do you like to play do you like to take um like do you like to build up so that every one of your cards has something going on or do you like to build up really strong individual cards um i have no rhyme or reason and i kind of just go with like oh this card needs me to build up card and then i start working on it i kind of spread them out and then decide which is not always great because then i wish i hadn't done certain things but mm -hmm. yeah yeah i i love just building up power cards because those turns are so satisfying when you get to play that super bam 
card, I think that that's really fun. And one of my favorite parts about Mystic Veil. Vale. All right, girl, what you doing? I I took, um, I think I took another pod lane, and I managed to take one of the Veil vale cards up top. Oh, excuse me. Oh, hmm. right. So I took the Blooming Arbor. So it'll save me from one spoil. So it like, kind of gives me a little latitude to push my luck a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now remember, you have these Veil vale cards that are at on the top row, and. Um, these have a different currency as the main cards that we're getting. Some of them will have these various icons like the green leaves or the gold starburst or the brown bear claw or animal paw, whatever it is. And when those come up, they tick, they tick on your little counter bar, just like all the other resources. And then if you accumulate enough, you can buy veil cards and veil cards often have a lot of great points or give you permanent updated abilities. And they're really powerful in the game. And I don't know, Mandy, I have found, what are you going to take, girl? It says it's your turn. Uh, I took my turn, I thought. It oh. says it's your turn. Well, maybe we're having uh -oh. a little pause of a situation. So let me do a little okay. redo and okay. see. Maybe I just got stuck. I was wondering. I'm like, take your turn, darn it. <laughs> no, yeah, and I was waiting for you. So that's that's why we're doing this. We're, we'll figure it all out. But I have found that if you don't mm -hmm. have some engine to make those Veil cards happen for you, it's harder to win the game. Okay, so let's see what I want to do here. Uh, hmm. It's saying Suzanne turn five, so I don't know if it's just not scooching or what. All right. What's on your side? Are you catching, uh... Is it saying your turn uh, six? It says you're in turn six. Yeah. Oh, it says it's I... to die four games, turn six. Unfortunately, mine is not saying that. So let's see if I can actually buy a card and see if that works out. Uh... When played, search your card for your deck for any card you may put it in your now. I'm sorry, I'm reading these quickly to myself because I'm like, but I really like this Moon Wolf, which I don't think I can afford. The Decay symbol. So Kabuki is coming through. Sorry? With the fun the funky tree is the Decay symbol. Decay. That's it. Decay? Thank you. Oh, okay. I was talking about the other thing, the mana. Okay, so what's happening right now is my I'm a little frozen. <laughs> that seems bad. Sorry? Yes, the app. So David's asking if the app has a tutorial, and it does. Yeah, see, the buttons aren't lit on the bottom. Exactly. My buttons are not lit. And mine are not either. Okay, so we've got a situation. So should we go ahead and close the window and try to restart? Yeah, I think that would probably be the best way. Apologies, everyone. Okay. I have no idea. What yeah, thanks, everybody, for sticking with us. We know, like, we're we're trying to just work out the kinks, and sometimes this stuff happens, right? Yeah. Um, part of it could just be our internet more than anything else. All right, so unfortunately, we're going to have to do a leave game. I'm quitting, yes? Okay. Yep. All right, all right. We're going to try it again, and hopefully this does the things. Well, you'll see how it all starts in the beginning. So, Suzanne, did you want to... Yep, I'm going to start a new game. All right. I love how yeah, it's, like, can... live, and it's, like, all the things that didn't go wrong during our test are going wrong. <laughs> I am sure all the friendly people in our chat will... Uh, they're great. Okay. Uh, so. Be just fine. Uh, shift tab. I did that. You have one friend online. Now we need to return to the game. I need you to. I'm so. I'm. I did this woman. Be patient. Oh. I can only. <laughs> I'm so antsy. I'm like, hurry up. People want to see things. <laughs> Alrighty. And then tomorrow, uh, I believe Tom, Eric, you, and I are recording our. Yeah, we're doing our thing. So there we go. Play the Live game. Live show. All right. Start. It should be loading up for you now. All right. There we go. All right. So I'm sorry. We're going to start over, but we'll make it. Oh, my so gosh. I Gator Dave. Do, oh, we built this city on rocket. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Now it's stuck in my head. That's okay. the worst. So you go first. We're going to like pitter patter get at her just so we can get back to where we were. All right. Pitter patter get at her. Yes. Pitter -patter Is that a thing? I don't Is know that a thing Canadian that Canadians thing? say? Does anybody else say pitter patter get at her? I do it. I had a really good game right. going previously. I'm a little perturbed, but that's okay. All right, here we go. Mm. Here we go. I'm gonna take my fertile soil and. I love that Dawn's the Dawn Singer card. It's so good. I can't right now. I'm thinking about. Yeah, we probably don't. You don't have the funds for it yet. Oh, I don't. I'm looking at it. I'm like, why can't I buy this? Oh yeah, I don't have any money. But it's so pretty. All right, I'm just gonna. That's right. There we go. I click the button as I forget. I'm getting all, I was getting ahead of myself. All right, there we go. And I'm going to slide that in there and end the old turn. Okay, we're going. We're doing it. 
So, chat, if you've played Mystic Veil, vale, I asked Mandy this question, but I'm actually really curious how you play, if you've played. Do you like to load up individual cards like I do, or do you like to kind of spread out so that every card you draw has something going on? Do you have a preferred way that you like to play? I want to know your secrets. And Mandy wants to know your secrets, too. Yeah, because I, I know you do, Mandy. <laughs> All right, I'm pushing my luck. I'm pushing my luck. I'm pushing the yellow button. You can't see it happen, but... Uh, oh, I it's... No! No! <laughs> I see it. Nice. Nah. Blah. Okay, we're over to me now. What's up? So I have three. I'm not super rich, but I'm not going to push my luck. Let's see what I can get. Ooh, what's this Deadwood Harvester? When played, you may discard any other card in your field. Okay. That could be a thing. Yeah, it's great, right? Because if you have um, a cursed card, you can get rid of it, Ooh, right? It really gonna... helps manage your tableau, and I really like those cards I in general. Like I play... Yeah, I need some money with that, so we're just going to go that. Okay, all right. I feel like I'm, I'm on a good trajectory here. Let's even keep it going. All right, I've got three money. I really, I really want that Dawn Singer. Like, I really, really want it. So I'm going to push the yellow button. I I'm going to regret this. I'm going to regret this. I regret it! No! No, come on! You're playing my game. I was spoiling before. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so okay. now... Somebody needs to kick Gator Dave out of the YouTube chat because they keep on dropping, like, earworms in the chat. <laughs> and it's now I have Roxanne. And, like, I have this weird, we built this city mashup with Roxanne in my head now. Mm. Okay, Not I have cool. three. I'm almost tempted to push it because three seems to be like, nah, I really want this Dawn Singer card. Okay, let's do it. No, I want the don't take the Dawn Singer card. That's mine. Well, I spoiled. You'll be happy to know. So there's that. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a long game. Right? Spoiled, 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 spoiled. All right. It's, it's not happening. This is my turn. This is my turn. I got five mana. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not risking it. I'm not trying to get fancy. I'm just going to take that beautiful Dawn Singer. Now I need more helmets. Oh, boy. All I'm right. Done. Ha ha. Mine. So now, Mine. let's see here. <laughs> what do I want? So I have four. Oh, you did take it already. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, so one. And then I still have two to spend. So I'll take this one. And I will end my turn. While you're taking your turn, I'm going to try and do the things. Okay. okay. Discard a card. Oh, yeah. I think we're back up. I think it's okay. Discard. So I've got four mana. It's okay. While you're doing the things, I'm going to do some things. Uh, what do we have? We have all those veils up there need a lot of paws. And that Wayfinder gives me a paw and a point every time they come up. But I actually really like Feel the Flowers too. Because building up that that um, uh, that mana thing helps mm -hmm. up front. I don't know. Do I want the Wayfinder or the... No, I'm going to take that Wayfinder. I want those veils. I'm going to start working towards those veil cards. Because in games I've played, I've found them to be pretty helpful. So I will make that mine. All right. Yeah, so I'm thinking it's... So we played with my internet and it's been... It was good. I don't know what's going on tonight. So I think settings just might be off. We'll tweak it for next time. So we appreciate everyone's patience. I think we're gonna do... Do, 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 do. I have two to spend, which is not great. Maybe I'll push my luck a little bit. Nope, I spoiled. Lovely. I was really hoping that wouldn't happen. That's the risk, right? With this one. Mm -hmm. But I think that one of the nice things about this, I mean, it's deck building, and deck building is kind of engine building when you think about it. And yeah, there's some pushing and risk involved, but. Um, you have some measure of control over that as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to go ahead and push my luck here. I have three mana, but it I've got junk cards out. Up oh, and there's the bust. Oh, I'm just so bad at this. Okay, so let's see here now. Let's do... I have three, and I'm looking what's there. They do have that Deadwood Harvester, which I wanted originally, which allows me to discard any other card in my field. I also need some monies. That's always a good one. And I have three to spend. You know what? I think I'm gonna just go forward and I'm gonna take you and do this. So there we um, go. Crystal's asking a game that people would like to get for the holidays or just as a gift. And Hawk Skull UK says mechs versus minions. And hmm. that is on my list too. That was a good I, one. I've only played it once. And, it's, and that was like over a year ago. 
and it stuck with me. I I don't typically like cooperative games, mm -hmm. but that one has stuck with me. But I think it's because it has a programming element. Right, right. All right. None of this push your luck junk. I'm grabbing that Dawn Singer. They are sitting right there for me. I know. Plunk, it is meant to be. I just like completely missed that Mine. one. Mine. Oops. Mine. Mine. I love the Dawn Singer. All right. All right. Okay. So I have two to spend. Oh, that's terrible. All right. Let's try pushing my luck. I hasn't worked so far, but hey, why not? Yay. Yay. Oh, I didn't spoil. Oh, <laughs> Oh, what's this? Cleansing Rain. When played, search your deck for any card, and you may put it into your discard pile. Your deck will then be shuffled. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. And you're looking at Cleansing Rain right now, Mandy? I am. Okay. Okay, good. We're just... It looked like the Twitch stream was down a little bit, but it's back. Okay, so let's do... Uh, I'll do that there. I kind of switched quickly between the two. And I finished my turn. Hopefully that was the right call. Yeah, right. <laughs> Which chat should I be in? I know we were trying to get the chats together, but Restream wasn't allowing us to put both together. <laughs> Again, these are things we're going to try and work on. Oh, I get to discard a card. Well, that's garbage. Isn't that awesome? This is not good at all. Because blank cards are kind of good. Are they not? Or are they bad? Yeah. I don't really know. No, they don't do any harm, but you can just keep it. You don't have to. It's it's optional. Okay, so I can just do a cancel. There we go. Right. Yeah, I like that better. Oh. Okay. All right. I've got another weak sauce here. I... I they're a little bit slow in the beginning, right? You have to build up your hand. So I'm going to take this Deadwood Harvester. Mm -hmm. And the card I want to put them on, I can't because my middle section is blocked on the card I want to put it on. Right. So new card it is. And that's just the way it goes sometimes. Okay, let's see the things here. What am I doing? So my turn, I've got five. Uh, oh, I feel like pushing my luck would be bad. So we're going to go here. I really need to get some of those top cards. Um... Hmm. But I don't have the symbol, so I really need to push that. So maybe I should get this, which is what I tried to get last time. Can I pair it with something good? No, I don't really want to put on that card. All right. Give me something good. Ow. I'm going to throw that on a card. I feel like it also should be not wasteful and have monies on it or something. So Or mana. Oh, my gosh. I have to stop saying that. All right. There we go. I have, so Kabuki Kid, I have the Targi bits from Meeple Source as well. I love them. They're so nice. All right. I'm rolling in funds, y'all. I got six mana here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That bear totem is looking pretty awesome. That's good. But I also like the Mindful Owl because the owl lets me discard and, you know, get rid of those, um, uh, decay tree icons potentially. Mm -hmm. Oh, but that bear totem, that bear totem, and the bear totem has a cleanse icon. So that healthy green tree icon on that bear totem card, yes. that nullifies one of your decay trees. Apparently so it's kind of potato, potato. Your singing is being enjoyed in the chat. <laughs> oh, no, nobody should enjoy my singing. No, it's good. It's, it's good. It's bad. All right. So I'm just going to take this. So not only do I get mm, bear totem or mindful owl. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody in chat, pick for me. Mindful owl or bear totem. I know first one first I one I see, I'm taken. <laughs> Bear Totem, Mindful Owl. Come on. Yeah, I think you're on your own. Oh, Owl. I'm there on my own owl. owl. All right, yeah. there, done. All right. I am taking that beautiful Mindful Owl. It doesn't have the uh, icon I want, but I also have enough of the spirit icons to take that Sunstone Airy. So I can exchange my blue mana for um, other spirit icons. So I will just take that because why not? Okay, this is a thing. All right, so now... I, I saw can... Owl first. Charity Board Gamer gave me Owl, so I took the Owl. I'm so tempted to take more of I'll come back for the bear. More. Can I get any of these? No. So let me just push forward here. So I have four. Ooh, I can get a nice one up here. What's this? The Azure Lake. So what are these cards called at the top? I always forget the name the of veil. them. The Veil. Those are the Veil cards. Yeah, those and are the And the Azure Lake is great. Yeah, I, I love like that. that. And like, harvest, right. gain one. Come on. That's like, I got to do it. And then I still have some stuff to spend. Um, I really, really want this moon wolf just because I want it. So there's no moon wolf is or reason to it. Rad. I just want it. So I'm going to actually put this on a card because I have plans to hopefully build that if I can. And I have no more spuns. We're going to end that turn. Oh, I get to discard a card. 
Oh, it has too many, but it has trees on it, which makes me a little concerned. So I will actually get rid of that and see. And so another. Gator Dave is saying that they're giving their niece and nephew Team 3. That's a good I got one. to play Team 3. And, and Mandy, you reviewed it on a podcast. And I, did. I, I thought that it sounded cool. And I it your comments on the podcast made me put it on my list to check out at PAX. And then I went to PAX Unplugged. And I played it with... Uh, T from Hobbit Games US and uh, the One Tar and um, Maggie Bot and a couple of other people. And it was maybe it's just one of those games that works really well at conventions. It was ridiculously fun. And I immediately the next day went and ran to the Luma Imports booth and I had to have it. It was so awesome. great. It was super <laughs> duper fun. Um, okay, so I'm in a situation where I have four mana, and, yes. like, look at this market. It, this cleansing is... rain, jumping straight to that good old rhino. <laughs> mm. Let's see. Hmm, that's interesting. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push. I'm gonna push. Oh, I did it! I did it! I got the fifth mana! I got it! I got it! Oh, I got it! 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 It's always exciting okay. when this happens. All right, um, I'm going to, oh, so I'm in a situation, I know you can't see it, so it's stretching, where I want that hulking thorn hide, and I have a card that would nullify its decay tree, but it's in the wrong slot. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah, wah, they have to line wah, up. Wah. Oh, they have to line up. Exactly. Darn you, John D. Claire. Darn you for making this game. <laughs> All right, I'm not pushing my luck anymore. Um... And I am realizing mistakes were made. But that's okay. It always happens to me. Mistakes are always made. I am going to take that thulking, thulking horn tide. Mm, that didn't work out very well for my speaking, did it? <laughs> the hulking like thorn. <laughs> yeah, I know it. Right? Done. <laughs> I'm taking it, whatever it's called. Okay, let's see here. This music is relaxing me, so. All right. I like the music. It is. I'm like, it's soothing. Even if I'm losing, who cares? I'm relaxed. All right, so now I have four to spend. Oh, I didn't think that through properly now, did I? All right, well, let's see if I can make this. Maybe I could just, like, make a card just ugh, full of fertile soil. Boring, but that's what I'm doing. But, but effective. I mean, think about it. When you draw that card, that is, a, that's great. I mean, you got three mana, boom, just like that. I just hate having cards and that have, like, nothing on them. Because I'm like, well, I mean, if you're going to do an effect, do that and give me some things I can spend, you know? Sure. So. I, I I do. And I think that that's just a, that's partly, like, a play style thing. I just, I think that the turns you get to have in Mystic Veil, vale, when you pull your power cards out, mm -hmm. it they're just very, very satisfying. Yes. And a lot of times for me, games are about moments. Mm -hmm. And it, if a game kind of runs at that even keel, oh, I'm having fun, I'm enjoying it, that's great. But I actually really enjoy games that kind of give you little spikes of excitement yeah, throughout them. exactly. And for me, I think that that's partly what this, this um, game does. But I'm going to go and just take it and, you know, Mandy, say what you want. <laughs> um, I think I'm just going to take a boring... I'm going to build a, I'm going to build a hefty fertile, so I'm going to build the fertilest soil of all. <laughs> I was thinking of doing that, and I'm like, you know, I might have to do that. I've just been spreading it out, and I think that's a bad idea. <laughs> the soil is so fertile. I'm growing all the good stuff. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's still your turn, so it must mean you have lots of things happening. I'm there. discarding cards, so I have uh, the opportunity. I'm, I got those cards that let me manipulate my, um, pull okay. my draw a little bit, so I get to discard the bad cards, and I, that's what I was doing behind I the scene. I have five... Man I'm going to say mana until someone corrects me. So I... Oh, this is... Oh, yeah. Hello. Oh, no. I have no more empty cards, but I really want this. Cancels all yeah. tree things. What are they called? The evil uh, trees? Decay. Decay, decay icons. On this card. Well, you're going here for the time being. <laughs> okay, we gotta start building this blue mana. We gotta start okay, like I just drawing some. Yeah, there, there you go. Nicely done. I, I did try. Why did I say anything? That I should have kept my mouth shut. I was see mana, thank you. I did get at least one terminology right. Good gracious. Alright, Mandy. I got hello 
Nine mana, yo! Whoa, whoa, la. There's no need to rub it in, okay? <laughs> whoa, whoa, la. Yeah, la. Okay. But uh, the guy is chosen is really good, but I don't have a card mm -hmm. that's really prepped for that well right now. The Grove Tender is really powerful if I can get other helmets, but guess what? I got no cards with helmets. Mm, convenient. Okay. So I think I'm just going to have to take that Life Bloom Orchard. So I will do that. I will take that beauty. Bloop. I will drop that into a card. Sadly, though, I don't have enough spirit tokens for a Veil card, which kind of bums me up, but oh well. All right, here we go, here we go. So I Did Netter sum us down? No, Gator Dave, we always get thumbs down. It's a popular hobby. And that's okay. Oh. We understand we're not everybody's sure. thing. Eh, you know, it is what it is. At least they cared enough to voice their opinion. True. Give us some interaction. <laughs> Through the pushing over. of a thumb, right? <laughs> So you know what? I'm going to like make this card. Oh, wait. No, hold on. I'm going to do what you did on that turn. And we're just going to make you like super awesome. Lots of fertile so, soil. Uh, Amanda Panda is saying, try not to put two red trees or decay on the same card. And that's, yes. that's a great <laughs> idea. I got the enhancements oh. that let me nullify decay. Oh, but goodness. it hasn't been working out. Oh my gosh, I wasn't paying attention. I almost missed out on a little treat there. All right, there we go. Yes, I had All that right. one card where it would be great if I could put um, put lots of decay on the card because it was saying that it can nullifies all the decay on that card, but unfortunately, it didn't really pan out that way. Where are all the darn helmets? I don't know what you're talking I about. Need, I need some darn helmets. Like, we've, like, the draw in this one has not been good. What are you laughing at? I've been, take, I've been taking a lot of those cards, I think. Have you? Oh, I haven't. Not bad. I'm juggling too many things. You sneaky monkey. Okay, I'm at five. I'm at five mana. I really want that bear totem. I'm pushing my luck. Oh, I did it! I did it! I, I did it! This. I didn't bust! I didn't bust! I got my six mana. I'm taking that bear. You can't stop me. <laughs> All right. I'm I'm double bearing it. Double okay, so I've got... It. I'm double bearing it. I'm going to put my bear totem on a card in which I also have my wayfinder. So now I have a card with a wayfinder and a bear totem, and I'm going to get two of the brown spirit icons every time that card comes up. Hello! And I just happen to be able to afford the Exodus Road as well, which will give me a couple points. Mm, that's good. Boom. Okay. Boom. I need to, like, snap it up a little here. What's happening? Ooh, I've got an eight. I'm rich. Okay, what's for eight? Oh, that's Oh, delightful. hey, Roy. So Epic Gaming Night is joined up, and it's nice to see you here. The app for Mystic Vale, in case you haven't been noticing, it's gorgeous, and it plays really, really smoothly. This one's kind of nice. Life Bloom Orchids. What are we thinking? Yeah. I'm thinking this looks delightful. All right, let me just see where I'm putting it, though. Hold, hold the phone here. I have a nice Solid, solid. And the here. purple spirit icon is wild. Yes. And Just so that's right. that's great for getting veils. I don't. I have a card that has monies on it, but I don't like. There's like a tree on there. But then this is a thing by itself. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna start a new card, I think. And I can. Ooh, so I have leyline nexus that I can purchase, or I have. Right, just drops you some nice points. Arbor, which is if you were to spoil, you might discard this card to gain one. And it looks like a little tree symbol there. That looks kind of nice. I'm doing it. Oh, I forgot. No, it was the previous game. Darn it, it was the previous game that we had to stop and restart that I had one of those. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so now I get to uh, this card. So let's say I will remove... Well, this is just some terribleness. Some get there. Stuff. Get rid of those cursed lands. I know. Not, not good. good. Yeah. Yes. Tulsa in the chat. It's been a while. Hello, hello. My goodness. And things that people haven't seen in a while. This is great. All right. I've got a... Mm, terrible hand and i don't have any draw protection i have two sun icons but none of those veils used i don't have a bear icon this is i was gonna say a word that i probably shouldn't say on dice tower so this is not optimal not optimal. this is a suboptimal draw i'm dealing with right now people Very nice. um i'm gonna you know what i'm doing it suboptimal draw pushing my luck yellow button Ooh, <laughs> there it is that's uh, a big spoil. And I don't have a veil to protect myself. So, Mandy, that's a gift from me to you. Okay? <laughs> Thank you, because I need it. You're welcome. Oh, ew. 
So Netters is asking about the expansions. I'm not, oh, I don't think, all, well, first of all, Mystic Veil vale in real life has a ton of expansions and a number of them introduced new me mechanisms and things like that. And um, I don't think all of them are in the app, but there's at least two or three already in the app, which is awesome. So, and I found after I, I first, when it first came out, I found I wanted that expansion content and Nomad came through pretty darn quickly with that expansion. And um, I think that that's uh, happening well. You do have to buy the expansion separately, but really they're pretty affordable, I think. Okay, I, um, I really want this Lifebringer seed card, but it's five. I pushed my luck. I got to four. Dare I do it again? Do it again. Push your luck. Push your luck. Power turn. Power turn. You Let's can do it. it. Oh, that didn't work out the way I would have liked. Dang, now wait, but wait, stop. Don't you have that? Did you get that veil to protect you? Which one? The discard? No, didn't you get the veil that would protect no. you from going bust once? Yeah, I don't oh, think you I ended up getting it. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, this turn is quite lucrative. Oh. I, I gave you a gift, Mandy. I know, but it, it, wasn't a, it wasn't it. a good gift. As the song goes, return to sender, address <laughs> unknown. <laughs> Bonus points if you know who sang that one. <laughs> All right. I am taking the, well, you know what I'm going to take, right? Do I? It's gotta happen. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't I got it. There's one. a bear. I'm taking the bear. Oh, I'm fine. I'm all that. about the, the bear. bear. I'm on to other Rawr. things. <laughs> Rawr. Rawr. All right. And I have my purple spirit icon, but I can't do nothing with it. Boo. Mm. Mm. Oh, there's the card of my dreams. And I get to discard a card. So goodbye, cursed soil, or f whatever. Cursed. It's cursed land. <laughs> okay. Fertile soil. That's great. Okay, I'm not pushing my luck because that would just be absolutely ridiculous because I have 10 mana to spend. Hello. Much better. So yes, I've been watching a lot of uh, RuPaul's Drag Race and there's from the UK and there's someone on there and every time something goes right, much better. So I'm not being fun. That's just how he says it and it's fantastic. I, I absolutely adore it. Okay, I think... Oh, goodness gracious. That would be fantastic. Let me look and see what I have. I like this whole canceling the things on my card. But I, oh, I have lots to spend. What am I worried about? Jeez Louise. And if you have play Mystic Veil vale in real life, or not in real life, but the physical version, the analog version, they came out with Conclave. So one of the things that Alderac tends to do is they apparently like to make really giant boxes for games and make games super duper heavy, right? Because you can get like the giant box for smash up and then you have edge of darkness which is massive and thunderstone quest and they did that for it was like well mystic fail deserves that treatment too right um okay mandy big turn big turn eight mana <laughs> you got distracted <laughs> yeah sorry um so the mystic fail conclave is like their gigantor box it's uh quite impressive all right i'm taking i'm going ooh Shall I plow? Um, plow, uh, what? Oh. Shall oh, I plow? I was like, plow your lands, plow the cart. I'm confused. I have eight mana, though, so then a plow seems like a weak turn, but I don't ah, but want cart. Gaia, and my cards aren't really set up for that. I could take a Grove Tender. Oh, I do love these owls. See, I'm about the wolves. You're about the owls. What's up? Owls and bears. No, I'm, I'm plowing. Oh yeah, that's, I uh, like I like to plow. And bears. Yeah, okay. I was thinking of something else. I'm plowing, All and right. then I'm going to take a fertile soil because I, to, I like, can. Step it up here. Be because I can. Because you Done. can. All right. I don't need a good reason. Oh my goodness, the moon wolf is there. It's like I have to have it just because. Do I need it? No, but I want it. All right. Let's 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 look ahead here because maybe I'm not doing the things. All right. The grove tender has one and it has the tree symbol for each. Oh, that's the card I was looking for. Mm. Right, well, and you were the one taking all the helmets. Sorry, my bad. So I, I, mm -hmm. well, you don't know. say sorry if you don't mean it, Mandy. That's also true. But I am gonna have to take one of these Grove Tender Dew Hickeys because it just suits so well. It didn't really get me points, which I'm a little <coughs> disappointed in, but it is the thing. Oh, but I have this. All right. I just want to point out the score right now is pretty tight. So, Shockingly you know. Shockingly that never happens. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All, All right. right. And now I finish my turn. I think that was a... All right. I'm very happy with that turn. 
So I hope people Thanks are... for dropping in, Nerfenstein. It's nice to see you. Yes, I feel so many people are coming in. This is fantastic. So thank you so much. And I love this app. I just like the, the flow and the graphics and the, you know, it's super nice. And I just, I love the motion of the cards. It's little things like that that get you into the game. Okay, I I can get a veil. I am definitely taking that heart that cascading falls card. So I got a veil. Oh, look at this. You know what? I am gonna build the bestest card now, Mandy. No, I have no, the no. the wolf is mine. The wolf is mine. I was literally no hoping that would sneak by you so I could get no. It. And now. Now I have a card with a Wayfinder, a Bear Totem, and a Moon Wolf. Oh, I have a power God. card. When this comes up, I'm going to be so happy. Yeah, this is not the turn of my dreams, but I'm also concerned. Oh, if I do that, I feel like that's a bad idea. Oh, boy. All right, let's see what I have for five. Maybe I can make this work. Well, the Owl is not an option. Harvest, I gain one for each on this card, which is not doing me any favors this turn, unfortunately. The Druid song looks kind of good, but oh, sorry, I'm going back and forth because now I feel like I, but that card gives me no money. Oh, the problems I'm having right now. The Druid song is one I'm contemplating, or I could do, no, no, no. I'm going to do the Druid song. How much money do you have? How many, how much mana do you have? I have five and I don't okay. want to take the Feral Chieftain because... Well, technically, I guess I could. It's just if I put it on a card, it's not really getting me any money, and that's my concern. But you know what? Let's just give her Let's see what happens. And then I have All right, folks. In a three more points, we'll give you the secret word Ooh, yes. that you'll be able to email saltandsassgames at gmail.com, and you'll be entered to win one of the iOS or Android codes. What we need you to do is send an email to saltandsassgames.com, Put the secret code word in the subject line and then let us know if you prefer iOS or Android in the body of the email. Okay? But not yet. You got to wait through a few more points. Yes. It's what you're saying. Thanks for coming, visiting us, and checking it all out. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Power turn. Power turn. Power turn. Gonna happen Jeez, here. Louise. That's intense. I got, I got all the goodies. Apparently. All right, I, I kind of want to push my luck, but I won't because that would be silly at this stage in the game. So let's take <laughs> take what I can get. Ooh, a feral chieftain. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, I want that owl, but I'm taking the chieftain. Unbelievable. This Ooh. is ridiculous. Oh, I really wanted that card. Oh, oh. Yeah, I don't Wubba. care. Wubba. Are you so sad? Yes, I am sad. It's okay. I'm very it's sad. okay. All right, and I can take a blooming armor, which I shall do, which is awesome. And then I can use, do I have any, I have two sunstones. <gasps> so I have an active veil right now and I have the sunstone airy and it lets me turn in two mana for a for another uh, spirit symbol. And I have two sun remaining. So I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use it. I'm going to get me a bear. Oh no, it lets me wait. Oh, I'm wrong. I'm misreading it. That's okay. So That's to, okay. Yes, you have to navigate this through what you're doing. Okay, so I'm taking the sunstone area. I'm going to use it, and I get to trade one of my sun for a wild. Okay. And it costs me two, and now I can get another sunstone area or another blooming armor. But I'm going to take that blooming armor because I'm going to be pushing all my luck. Oh, boy. All the pushing. <laughs> I'm plowing and pushing. Well, it's working out for you because you're, you're ahead of the game here. It's pretty close isn't it yeah close it, yeah and i'm discarding cards now i'm yeah. shuffling through oh that's well no wait aren't you winning you're the red player oh, wait a second i am winning <laughs> do you not understand you're was, kicking up i was looking at the wrong thing i'm so used to losing this game that's why i'm like hmm, hmm. oh my oh, and we're at that point we're oh. at the point where we are going to give you the secret code word here I'll so thank you for chat. everybody okay and let me know okay. premiere Premiere. So email saltandsassgames at gmail.com. Put premiere in the subject line and let us know in the body if you prefer iOS or Android. Do follow my instructions because if you don't, you won't qualify to be entered to win because that's how we roll. And I like people who can follow rules. So. All right. So let's see. Okay. I'm sure we'll get a lot of. And Nomad was generous. So we've got multiple codes for both iOS and Android to give away. So please do email us. 
uh, and and try your luck. All right. So now I've got 12 mana to spend. I feel so rich. This is wonderful news. But what does this say? Harvest gain one. So blue cube for every two cards in your field. That's kind of nice. It's a big one. That's awesome. Oh, darn. Look at that card. I'm going to have to take it. I just want to see nah, where I put nah, it. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah. Take that. Look, don't you want that owl? You want to take that owl from me, don't you? I do. But this one seems a little better. <laughs> Nah, <laughs> nah. I do wanted to put. I wanted to put it there, but I already put it in a really terrible spot. But I do want to put it with money, even though there's a tree doohickey on it. I think we're still gonna. Sorry, uh, why can I never remember the name of it? The decay. Excuse me. So the now decay. I have two yeah. To spend. Let me see if I can just add a fertile soil to something. Yeah, we'll just jazz that up a little bit. Hey yo, put you there, and then I'm gonna end my turn. All righty. Ooh, we're getting down to the wire here. Oh my what, what, Okay. Ooh, the Ent Elder. Oh, I can take that Ent Elder. I'm happy with the Ent Elder. Let's see if I have a good card to put the Ent Elder on. If you scroll over all the way to the far right there, Mandy, you'll be able to see the new card that popped up is this, this one here. really wicked awesome Ent there. Elder. Oh, that's And I'm going to be taking that. I have 11 mana. Ooh. Okay, and then I can afford a Veil. So... Chat, I can afford the Sky Haven or the Pool of Light. The Sky Haven gives me three points. The Pool of Light gives me a a, a wild spirit token. Considering Mandy's whooping me, I should probably take the I feel the Sky like you're Haven. letting me win because I never win. But then again, I did like a, a warm-up game the other day. No, Mandy, you're just really good at games, sweetheart. I don't know about that. It's usually a little surprise. You're awesome. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I don't have any of my cards that have the power up for the armor icon and the elder has the power icon, which is kind of a bummer to me, but I will go ahead and take it because that int elder is wicked yeah, awesome, you know? That's a really good card. I'm a little jealous. And I have one sun token left. There's no reason for me to turn that in because I only have one. So I will go ahead and take a fertile soil <laughs> and make one of my cards better. I'm going to make another triple fertile soil card no, those because are great. I can. They're great for, you know, giving you the mana. Oh, you just jumped up there. Hello. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Okay. Well, you're we're, fine. We're not pushing any luck here. That's that's just not a thing that's going to happen. I think I I think I did. That was a good move. No, it was a great move. Now. Oh, goodness gracious. Thank you. I could do this. Oh, salt and is... sass games at gmail.com. Yeah. Kabuki kid. Thank you for covering our back on. Now, have you all played any of the other card crafting games that uh, that Alderac has put out, like Edge of Darkness or... Now, I can't remember the ladder climbing game one. That I love the one where you get to put hot dogs and swords no, and roses. Like Custom Heroes. Custom Heroes, thank you. <laughs> one of my favorites. Okay, I'm tempted to do this, even though I don't know. We're nearing the end there, so I don't know if that was actually very smart. Yep. So if you'll note, uh, you know, Manny and I have been... The, it's kind of like a lot of games, right? It's a slow build up, but then it just starts to go womp. Mm. And there you go. Oh, wow. Hi. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That was so close. That was so close. Oh, that last turn got it. <laughs> Nicely done, Mandy. Good game. All right. There we go. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I, I feel like I don't even know what to, what to do there. <laughs> Celebrate. Be proud of your work. Um, if you have any questions about Mystic Veil, you can obviously reach out to Mandy or myself uh, at, uh, at via our social media channels, or you can email saltandsassgames at gmail.com. And uh, feel free to reach out to AEG or Nomad Games if you have questions about the game as well. Nomad Games is a wonderful developer of the app that we just played. Again, Mystic Veil in app form or digital form is available on iOS, Android, and Steam. If you've been watching the whole show, then you know we just dropped the secret word and you know how to enter to win one of the codes for iOS and Android that Nomad Games was kind enough to donate and for us to give away to you all. So don't forget to do that as well. And uh, someone did ask if we're going to be doing like a Q&A at the end of these. And I said, if people had like a few questions, we can answer them. I don't think it's going to be lengthy. Um, but yeah, and tonight I think we're right at our time. So yeah, we don't want to push it, it for... Tonight for too long but um if we wanted to provide any thoughts on the game i know we kind of did that throughout the game um but is there anything you wanted to add because i don't think i don't see any questions otherwise i'd say we'd throw that out there but um 
What do you think? No, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody. I know that we had a few uh, technical as we went, but we appreciate your patience and we'll get better the more we do it. Our plan is to run Aptastic every other Wednesday night yes. and we're kind of a compliment program to Dice oh, Tower right. tonight, live with Crystal Pisano and Eric Summer, those fabulous duo that are just a freaking delight to watch. Absolutely. So on one Wednesday, you get to watch Crystal and Eric chat it up in Dice Tower tonight. And then on other Wednesdays, alternate Wednesdays, you'll be able to watch digital gaming with Mandy and myself. Uh, if you have games that you would like to see us play in app form, let us know. You can email saltandsassgames at gmail.com with which apps you would like us to showcase and show off. And we will do our best. We have a lot of them. And uh, we're happy to showcase them. I saw somebody say Istanbul would a great one. I love the is digital Istanbul uh, implementation. Actually, so happy really to try good. that one. Yeah, that'd be great. And um, actually, I think I, uh, Dragon Castle came out not too long ago. Yeah, which was absolutely. Yeah. So, all right, everybody, we'll call that an, our first episode. Thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate you being here. I had a lot of fun. Mandy, good game. Yes, thank you. I won. That never happens. <laughs> <laughs> and until next time, go out there, play games, whether it's digital or analog, and just have fun. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye. Thanks so much. <laughs>